Okay, so today we are going to be at Red Lobster and then we are going to make the famous cheesy biscuits. Now, many, many, many people love the cheesy biscuits. As you can see, we are coming up to Red Lobster now and we are going to be pulling into the driveway. Lots of people are here already and they are probably eating the cheesy biscuits. Okay. So, we see the Red Lobster sign. We are at Red Lobster with the Creepy Kali uh, fishy things and the Red Lobster. Okay, right now we have the butter sauce and the garlic bread topping. You can't really see because it's a little blurry. We are going to grab the butter sauce and then we are going to pour it into the container so as we pour it into the container i want you to think about all the cheesy biscuits you have eaten in your life and how much you enjoy the cheesy biscuits at the red lobster okay so we are going to fill up the container as you see i am doing here okay we're pouring we're pouring we're pouring and still pouring it takes a little bit to fill up the container as you can see it is a big jug okay so we're almost to the top now and we're filling we're filling we're filling almost gone okay so we set that aside and we try to focus in on the garlic bread the topping one more time but as you can see it's still a little blurry you can almost make out what it says but you can't really okay so i set the ca camera down and i'm opening the garlic bread the topping so i can pour it in okay see i pour it in it's nice a powdery uh shake it you know gotta make sure all the crumbs are gone and from there i'm going to move the brush and grab my whisk and then begin to stir 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 this right here ladies and gentlemen is what makes the cheesy biscuits so delicious it goes on top of the biscuits after it comes out the oven and we're gonna slide it forward a little bit adjust the camera oh i lost a little powder on the side but it's okay keep us stirring and stirring excuse me while i take a drink while i stir okay almost done now and from here we are going to uh, we're going to stir and stir and stir okay now I want to go ahead and point out a few of the things that you are going to need for the red lobster uh, cheesy biscuits first of all the butter sauce as you can see you see the butter sauce okay we got six point five ounces of cheddar cheese okay the scampi sauce the, for the for the bread a mixing bowl and down here we got the cheese garlic bread mix okay everyone paying attention is basically just a bread mix okay so now we have all of our ingredients we are going to first start with the cheese pour in the cheese pour in the bread mix And here we are going to pour in 22 ounces of ice cold water. Very, very important. Okay, here we are going to mix the bread. Make sure all the lumps are gone. And pardon the guy in the back. He is not supposed to be there. But he is still working as I am right there mixing the bread. From here, we're going to mix and mix and mix. And just here in a moment, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's nice and mixed up. No lumps, no extra breading. Okay, mix it. See, as I, I rub around the bowl and I kind of turn the bowl, I am making sure all of the breading mix is grabbed by the, by the moisture of the water. And then we are going to uh, okay, okay, here I go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, you'll see 
is nice and smooth. Oh, there's a lump. I'm going to set the computer or the camera down and then I'm going to mix it a little bit more. Okay, almost mixed up. Okay, I'm going to discard my glove and we are going to grab two trays. Two trays with wax paper and a two ounce scoop. Okay, you see, I start making this scoop. See, there's a one, a two, and a three, and then a four. Four across, and then however many down you can get. It's very, very important that you don't put them too close together, but you don't spread them out too far. Okay, so I'm doing one tray right now, and then here in a moment, we're going to pan over, and then we're going to do uh, tray number two. Excuse me while I take a drink as I pan up the biscuits. Okay, almost done with tray number two, and then we are going to, uh, oh, here we go, tray number two, we're going to slide the camera over so you can see one more time, adjust it a little bit, again, excuse the people in the back, they are not supposed to be there, but just like me, they have to work. So, okay, so we got four across, and right now we are at two down, and let's see how many more we got to go. Okay, there's three down. Do -de -do -de -do. Okay, so we're three down, three across. Oh, again, another person in the back. Okay, now we are now four down on the tray. Oh, another person walking in my camera. And you'll please have to excuse the accent. I am disguising me voice so uh, as to not to lose my job for recording this video for you YouTubers who like to know how to how to make the Red Lobster a cheesy biscuits. Okay, right then now we are going to open the oven door, which is set at about 375 because our oven sucks. And we go to put two trays in the oven. Okay, now they normally cook for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the oven. And uh, as I was trying to pan into the uh, clock, it, it seemed to mess up a little bit. But remember the butter we mixed earlier? Okay, that is what I am putting on the biscuits after they have cooked. So I am panning up one biscuit or buttering one biscuit a uh, tray of biscuit that is and then I am going to grab tray number two and I'm going to butter that and then off to the warmer and then the lovely customers that we get that love the cheesy biscuit will come in and get a basket of four to five a cheesy biscuit that I myself have made. I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.